Shortly after writing this review and doing the video, posting the video on the Milwaukee table saw and new 12 amp all battery pack, DeWalt reached out to us and said they were able to send us a 12 amp hour pack. I wish they had done it earlier. So we took the FlexVolt saw out. We also located our riving knife. If you saw that video, you'll know what I'm talking about. And we retested the DeWalt with the DeWalt Flex, uh, FlexVolt 12 amp hour battery pack. Fully charged pack. We inserted the riving knife. Uh, we used a 24 tooth FlexVolt, FlexVolt blade that DeWalt sent to us that comes with the saw. We did the same procedure. We did three rips, five quarter pressure treated decking, allowing the saw to rest, turned it off for a minute 30 between ripping. So how did the DeWalt FlexVolt 12 amp hour pack do? Well, it made 38 cuts before shutting down, tying with the Milwaukee 12 amp hour battery pack. So this is not exactly what we thought was gonna happen. We did some math and extrapola extrapolation and, and really I thought, I really thought the FlexVolt was gonna beat the Milwaukee pack. So one thing I do want to stress, because the comments sometimes come in, it drives me crazy, is we are not a testing laboratory. I get that. We do not always result in having the perfect methodology or testing equipment to do these tests. This was done on a job site with little controls. It is what it is. We did a runtime rip test on our job site in an effort to just give you guys some insight on what you might expect from these saws. We get them first, so why not show you guys? We plan to do a head-to-head -head test later um, where we will make more, a more concerted effort to enter control variables and eliminate human error. So what did we do differently this time with the 12 amp hour test versus the other test? Well, we used a different battery for one, that's obvious. Before we used a 9 amp hour, this time we used a 12 amp hour. We also used a riving knife, and it is certainly plausible that when we were assisting the previous 9 amp hour cut by pulling the cut open with our hands to mimic a riving knife, that we actually gave the nine amp hour test an advantage. And that's why it, it did so well. The, the other thing that I wanna point out is that was different is that we used the DeWalt FlexVolt blade that comes with the saw, it's optimized for the saw. Um, DeWalt recommended it, they sent it with the battery, so we used it. And some of you commented that we should have used it in the beginning. Um, on the original nine amp hour versus the Milwaukee 12 amp hour, we used two identical Milwaukee 24 tooth framing blades. If you look at the photo, the left photo is the Milwaukee saw blade rip, and the right photo, photo is the DeWalt FlexVolt rip. And clearly, the new Milwaukee blade on the left, it has a high alternative, uh, alternate tooth bevel, ATB pattern, which clearly made a smoother cut, it's, it's no doubt. Uh, lastly, uh, the day that we tested the DeWalt, which was yesterday, the temperature was 10 degrees cooler than when we tested the Milwaukee. Guys, in the end, it was a tie, and again, I wanna mention that this was an aggressive test the DeWalt battery, when we finished, was warm at the end of this test, and we concluded that this runtime, or at least the resting period between cuts, was probably too aggressive for both saws, both cordless saws. Uh, we have no doubt that both of those cordless saws could make more than 38 rips each if we allowed more time to rest and cool the batteries down in between. In the end, it's your decision. You gotta make it. My opinion, is that the new Milwaukee saw is a serious contender to the FlexVolt and one that you should be watching closely. I'm Rob Roblard, we'll see you next time.